What's up guys, it is Jonathan with One Big Impact. So today's video is going to be quick, brief, and to the point. I'm gonna make this video 15 fucking minutes long. And I'm just gonna blab about all kinds of shit. No, I'm just kidding. So uh, today's topic is going to be body dysmorphia. I'll be completely honest, for my entire life, um, I've had a lot of different experiences with liking my body, hating my body, um, hating different parts of my body. And as I got older, one of the things that I noticed is it got increasingly worse. Um, even if um, I'm lean at the time and stuff like that, um, I do find very quickly that I am able to pick out so many negative things about my entire existence. Um, but um, one of which is my stomach specifically. Um, I got really big and then really small and then now I'm kind of big again. Um, so I have tons of stretch marks on my stomach, so I understand the whole battle with that. Um, I would like to make a point first of all, okay, so any of you guys, any of you women out there that have had children and you have stretch marks, stop being so fucking hard on yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself if you have had children and you haven't had stretch marks or maybe um, you understand that your body isn't what it used to be. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? It's a beautiful thing that you created a life. And let's be honest, I love my kids to fucking death, dude. Like, and the fact that they were created by a human body is just an absolutely beautiful thing. So don't be so hard on yourself. Your body held something beautiful and created a life and that's very difficult in itself. So good job. Um, but besides that, for women, a lot of it is like the back of the arms, or the hips, or the legs, um, or the butt, or something like that. And it tends to be the places that you carry fat. The one piece of advice that I could give to you, it's not like love yourself or any of that bullshit. And the reason I say that is because we can say that all day long, but does that really help? No. Like, the one thing I can say is think back to a time in which you really did enjoy your physique a little bit more. And I'm not saying if you're 55 when you were 18 or something, because realistically, you probably don't even remember what the fuck that felt like. You might look at pictures and be like, oh my God, it was so thin, but that doesn't really matter. Think back to five years, 10 years, you know, uh, a couple years or anything like that, which in which you really like enjoyed wearing certain clothes or certain things or guys, maybe it was a muscle shirt. And what was your physique like? What is it gonna do to be able to take yourself to get back there? A lot of the times the things that we hate are the things that are just stubborn problem areas. And you might be thinking, well, Jonathan, tell me how to fix that problem stubborn area. Unfortunately, if you have this and this, when you're overweight or fat, unfortunately, when you were smaller, did you have those same things? Because whatever size they were when you were smaller, your butt and your chest, that's probably going to be what they are when you drop weight. So don't be obsessed with, oh, I have tits and ass or something like that, and I'm going to have those things when I get smaller. Not necessarily, okay? Um, and it doesn't mean anything bad or good or anything like that but it just means those are the places where you collect fat, okay? And don't become obsessed with, oh, I lost my butt, I hear that so much. You didn't lose your butt, you just had a ton of fat collected there. Look at a picture when you were smaller and look at a picture when you were bigger, and it is not, you didn't get a bigger butt because you were doing hip extensions four or five times a week, and squats and deadlifts and sumo squats and all these things. You literally just collected a bunch of fat because you sat on your ass and got fat and that's okay. Um, the reality is just think back to when you felt better about yourself and get more towards that shape, that body, that daily routine, that exercise, that food program, um, that whatever it takes to get back there. Now that being said, what you did before food wise or exercise wise may not work. You may just need a different approach. I recommend making sure you're in a caloric deficit to be able to drop body fat, keep your protein sufficient to be able to hold on to muscle and strength train so that when you do drop, do drop fat or body weight, it is fat and you need to steadily be dropping actual weight 
in order to be able to see significant body fat drops. I hope that information helps you. The big, the big thing of all this, yes, of course, I want you to be happy with yourself, but I know, I know a lot of you guys are happier with yourself in a different style of physique, meaning you need to push to the next level to make yourself feel better about what you're doing. It doesn't mean when you drop weight or you drop body fat that you're going to feel perfect, okay? A lot of us, be honest, like when we do drop weight, some of the things become intensified. Like for instance, when I drop weight, I have this little hanging skin fat, okay? I didn't have a baby, okay? So that's kind of fucking embarrassing for a guy. Like I have the girl thing, but I didn't have a baby. so. Understand that some of the things are going to still be there. If you were significantly overweight, I don't recommend surgery or anything from me personally, but you may have to have a tummy tuck or something like that. And that's your own personal life decision. That has nothing to do with me. But understand that most, most 99% of the things that you're worried about are going to go away and you might have some small, simple things but just keep up, keep up going, doing the work and realize that you don't suck. 99.9% .9 of you is absolutely fucking beautiful. And if I asked anybody in a group of people, they would say the same exact thing. You're not defined by your physique. You're defined by who you are inside. And trust me, I have met some beautiful people that are absolute trash inside. So keep up the good